Hi, Dennis here to show you how to do a quick rendering of a simple object using iRender Next. This video will show that there is no need to change the model or settings in any way to get a great rendering, as well as go over the one click to render ability, and we'll go over the final results. Okay, to start, we're obviously going to need a model. So in my case, I'm going to go to the warehouse and download one. So now I'm looking for a simple interior object, uh, something with a good amount of detail, but something that also gives me some nice reflections and highlights. And I just so happen to know of such a model. So if we type in wine, bottle, table, sorry for the odd combination of words there, but it gets us this great model here that I think will work really well for our purposes today. Simply download that and load it into your model. All right, then just simply place the model. And then we got some junk here that we got to clean up. Sometimes people like to put pictures of their model uh, so it looks better in the warehouse. So we just got to get rid of that. And then just zoom in and find an image that'll work. I think something about like that will work really well. So once we get that ready and you have already downloaded iRender Next and installed it, it's a simple matter of going to your plugins and loading iRender Next. Once you do that, up pops this toolbar and there are several buttons here but the only one we're going to worry about today is this guy here the render button but before we even do that um, I just want to point out that I have simply downloaded this model from the warehouse and I haven't changed any settings or tweaked the model at all we're going for a quick simple rendering here today and we'll be able to easily achieve that with iRender next so let's get that started All right, now it's uh, extracting the faces, and that'll take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on your model. All right, now you'll notice down here at the bottom uh, the time and the number of passes. So the important thing to remember is the more passes that are allowed to happen, the better. The softer the shadows become, the crisper the highlights are, the sharper the reflections become. So just be patient, and you'll have a great image in the end. All right, here's the final image. And then here they are side by side. Note the soft shadows and textures on the carpet, as well as the highlights and reflections on the glass top, but I really like the reflections created on the glasses themselves. Now remember, this was done quickly and without any changes made to the model or settings at all. I render next, analyzed the model and applied reflections where they were needed, giving you this great model you see here. I think it's a pretty big improvement. Okay, just for review, this video covered that there was no need to change the model or settings in any way, the simple one click to render ability, and we reviewed the final results. All right, thanks a lot. I'll see you again soon.